Hello, beautiful people. How are you? My name is Chelsea, and today we're going to be doing a quick bando planner review and flip through, along with like a little overview of the little mini haul I got to supplement my planner this year. So let's get started. This is the planner that I got. It's called Las Flores, and it's the largest size, I believe, that's available for the planners on Bando. This is the 12 month planner, and I did want to get the 17 month planner, but I feel like they sold out, well, the designs that I specifically wanted sold out in the summer really fast for the academic planner. So I just got this one, and I think it's perfect so far. When you open it, there's just like a little postcard inside. It's so cute. It's like a little color in postcard. So adorable. Super cute. And yeah. The inside features this little folder pocket where you can like stash and notes and stuff and like handouts. I'm planning to like really draw in this page and decorate it how I see fit. In the back, there's a coloring page. And there's a page here that features the artist. So in case you like any of the artwork, you can follow them on social media or contact them directly. This following page is a quiz, a really fun quiz. And I love that the planner features stuff like this because it's just so fun and it's not really common in other planners. So I really love this. And here we have three pages of stickers. These are paper stickers that are featured in their sticker books. So in this following other page, you just fill in the prompts with those stickers. Really cute. Here we have an overview of the calendar year. So we have 2021 and 2022. Perfect for just jotting down important dates. And up next is an overview for the month. So you can just jot down goals here maybe like objectives whatever you want to fill in for the following month you can do so on these pages you will never miss national quack day ever again so all of those quirky national holidays that you just never know about they're all listed here for your convenience so yeah it's fun to like know these dates so you can like plan fun outings maybe dates and go to events and whatnot The national holidays are also listed right here in the monthly view where you can just easily catch them and never miss them. Pretty handy. Here are the monthly priorities, whatever you're working towards, whatever you need to focus on, you can list it here and just have it jotted down. And this is the weekly view. I love how much space that they provide, unlike other planners which give you like little tiny grids and blocks. This is perfect. Maybe you want to doodle, maybe you want to fill in with stickers, maybe you just want to like go crazy with washi tape. This gives you like a lot of creative freedom, so it's not bad. And you also have pages for your notes at the end of the month, which is pretty cool. Now that we've gone over the planner's monthly layout, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the month-to-month -month artworks that's featured here in the planner so beautiful i hope you guys love it as much as i do This is my favorite month in terms of artwork in this planner. It's so beautiful, the month of December. Look at all those diverse women. I love to see it. I wonder where we'll be next December. If you guys are making resolutions, maybe goals and plans, I hope you guys accomplish everything you want to accomplish this time next year. 2022, we're coming for you. So here is just some extra pages if you want to jot down your passwords. I feel like I need a password for everything in my life. So this is where it goes. Literally all these pages I fill her in. Just passwords. <laughs> At the end here is just um, 
another little like quiz you follow like the prompt then you follow another said prompt for that prompt and you get your answer and it's fun so adorable so cute bando does it again i love it i'm obsessed so that concludes this planner review and flip through i hope you guys snatch one up maybe get one in the design that you want to i love it i i love this planner this is my go-to planner for whatever i need in life <laughs> so up next i'm just gonna be getting into the stuff that i got to supplement my planner so here is this planner kit i got this in the goodie bags i'll link the video over right here if you guys haven't seen it i also got this tape roll this sticker tape roll in the goodie bag as well and i love this so much that i actually got the red version i had to i absolutely had to i'm gonna lie it feels like my planner has reached level 100 with both of these so <laughs> get them if you want them um i don't think i have the little cue card that has everything in here so i'm just gonna take everything out so you guys can briefly see what's inside these are just some um, pens uh washi tape notepad paper clips and in this bag is another version of those floating pens you see there i love them so much i just had to get them in the smiley face version they're so cute i love these floaty glitter pens so i'm bound to lose one so i got these as backups because i just know i just know two of these are not gonna make it to next year so <laughs> why not stock up okay and this is the cue card that features everything that's inside of this red bag i'm just going to show it really quickly right here these are the vinyl stickers that come in each set the quality looks amazing i wish this was standard for their sticker books i would buy them all in a heartbeat these are beautiful and i just I wish they came like that in the sticker book so bad. Here's a super cool multicolor pencil. It features four colors, blue, green, red, and yellow in the lead. I cannot wait to doodle with that and not use my color pencils. An optimist bookmark. I'm trying to be an optimist. Half glass full sometimes. Um, this is a really cool washi tape. Be nice, work hard, have fun. That's the motto. What else do we have in here? Okay, this is a really cool clip where you just attach it to your um, planner and you can either put that pencil or any one of your fun pens. I'm actually going to play around with this clip for a little bit just to see if it really works. So let's go. I'm low-key hoping that this holds up in my book bag well because sometimes I can throw my bag around so let's see how it holds up but overall it's it's so cute I love it this whole haul has been like my own Christmas gift to myself so yes treat yourself season is in full effect while these planner sets are really novelty and extra if you're in the mood to accessorize jazz up your planner go for it you won't regret it it's really fun so now we're gonna get into um the rest of the items that i have i'm just gonna quickly clean up everything that i have here set it to the side and show you guys the little things that i bought to supplement my planner The box for this sticker roll set is actually a dispenser, which is pretty innovative and clever. So, love that. Looking forward to using it. Up next are my little Michael box sets filled with goodies that I have. I bought both of these a while ago while I was waiting for my planner. So, 
let's get into what's inside this is my sticker box it's just some hello kitty sticky notes that i have and these are my bando sticker books this is version 5 or issue 5 that i have here and these are just you know some random planner stickers that i have um what else do i have here my skate stickers <laughs> that go on my skateboards and stuff my water bottles and my absolute favorites you guys i love tokidoki if there's anyone out there obsessed with tokidoki like me we're automatically friends like i see you you see me tokidoki for life so i have a collection of these big stickers and i don't know what to put them on i'm just saving them for something that's worthy so yeah that's my little collection of tokidoki stickers Here is issue 7 of Bando's sticker book. I'm just going to quickly do a flip through so you guys can see all the beautiful, whimsical, lighthearted, and bright stickers that are featured in this book. Now I noticed in this version they added more, you know, resourceful stickers, day-to-day -day stickers that we would need for like birthdays, appointments, due dates, paydays, you know, those are all payday stickers, which is really cool, you know, maybe you don't want to get like a whole separate set, and here it's included in your Brando sticker book, which I love that they did for this version. I do want to get issue 6, but it's been sold out for some time, so hopefully someday I'll snag that one. That one's really cute. I'm also going to do a quick flip through for version 5. Yeah, for issue 5, I'm sorry. Here's a quick flip through of that. I have actually given away so many pages from this book and people always ask me where I've gotten it. And I always relay them to the holy girl sites of Bando. I've invested in something that's actually pretty new to me that I've never used before, but I'm excited to get started with using, and it's washi tapes. So this is just my exacto knife, and it looks crazy. I'm gonna organize it really quickly. Now I'm planning on using this in my notebook as well. Um, not just my planner, because I like to take really detailed notes and sometimes make them look so spruced up and nice and visually pleasing to me because that's what matters to me so yeah these are gonna come in handy um i got all of these at michael's for the most part with the exception of the two bando brands that you're gonna see so pictured from right to left this is the aurora recollections set from michael's i think it was around 11.50 but i got it on sale um yeah i just love anything with moons and stars i love it what can i say and the next set that you see right there is called orion's belt also by recollections at michael's this next set is a bandeau featured set um i'm not too sure what the name is called i forgot but it's featured on the website. I'll link everything as usual in the description box below. Um, yeah, I got these on sale as well. Mm, forgot the prices, but I think they're usually like around $10 for the set, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe $15 for the Bando brand, I'm not too sure. But um, I will link it down below. These last two sets are also from Recollections from Michaels. This one's called Sunrise Gradient, and the following one is called Green Floral. 
I believe both were only $5.99. I got them discounted as well with a coupon. And at first, like from far away, that hooray, I don't know if it's just me because I'm from New York. I thought that said hood rat. <laughs> I'm like, what? What is that? But it doesn't say that. It says hooray. It would be kind of funny to see like a washi tape collection that's just like full of slander. <laughs> Just for jokes, just for jokes. But yeah, this is my washi tape collection so far. I love it. I don't think I'm gonna be adding more because I tend to go crazy with things. So yeah, I'm loving this set. I might get one more just in case. Like I, I feel like I need more neutral muted colors here to balance everything out. So, okay. I almost wrapped up this video. <laughs> without showing you guys an additional item that i got and here's my little chunky wumpy cans axel oh my god he looks so naked without his collar but i just took it off briefly to wash it don't worry he always has one on so um this is the pencil set that came in one of my goodie bags and i fell in love with it so i decided to go and get another set that was on sale online this is i'm not too sure what the name is for this one oh the write-on pencil set okay so yeah this one features glitter pencils and so awesome and my little fluffy cans thank you everyone for watching and sticking with me through this video i hope you guys love the haul happy holidays merry christmas and i'll see you guys in the next one